Okay. holding against the Braves. Uh, pass interference against the heart. Keeper hit by J.C. Anderson, fumble on the play.
touchdown, J.C. Anderson on a pass from Keller. Score Braves 14, Hearts 0. Brody Leeper and the offensive pass interference against the Braves.
final score. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's the same thing that it's been for a few weeks. I mean, we, you can't give up big plays and not run the ball and think you're going to win. You just, you, you can't. Guys that don't come off the field, and we got, you know, but other, other teams do too. You know, and, and uh, I know it's hard. But, uh, but at the end of the day, that's, I mean, it's still boils down to the same things. I mean, tell me it's not the same things. It's the same, it's the same. you guys have been in every game. It's the same, it's the same thing. It's, it's big plays, big plays through the air. And then if, we, if we're able to run the ball, then we got a chance. If we don't run the ball, then we don't have a chance. You know the ball yeah, the yeah, I mean, I, 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 the, the yardage of Matt Toon, you got on them. And no, they, they don't do anything. Uh, they don't do anything special defensively. They don't, you know, we just, uh, we got, we got whipped pretty good in the box, you know, and that's, uh, that normally doesn't, uh, normally doesn't happen with us. Quarterback didn't escape the ball. We got better at it early. We, we did some mistakes. We made some mistakes early that, you know, that, uh, that even if they don't end up scoring, it costs you field position where, where we didn't, we didn't do that. And, I had to uh, get the four seconds. Yeah. Yeah. And we thought, you know, and uh, you know, we th we thought we, our only hope was to get a few more. Um, you know, but I mean, you're with with what they have, you're always on the edge of your seat because at any time it could it could end up down the field. No, I mean when you only rush three. I mean when you only when you only rush three. It's I mean the fact that we had four sacks only rushing three. Yeah. I mean that uh, you know that's uh, uh, you know you, you commit it, you commit more to rushing then you don't have then then you got everybody running free. What was the toughest matchup, of course, with JC and with the Trimble? I mean, kind of trying to prepare for them. What what makes it so tough with them, too? Well, the tough part is they put five guys out there that can catch the ball. So now you're going to put five guys out there to cover them. You're going to play them without safety help. You're going to play them without safety help, and now the quarterback takes off run or somebody else takes off run. You know, so uh, you can't you can't double cover everybody. You're only allowed to play with so many guys. What was that one thing that you liked the most going into the final week? Well, the the only thing I like right now is we got one left, and and we we still have a chance if we win it, and we're in. So that's with these last few weeks, that's kind of to still have that to still have that to play for, um, you know, to where if you can find a way to find a way to get that win, then uh, you know, then, then you get another one. Um, coming into this game, JC, what was kind of the preparation going up against Effingham, knowing that you've you've had your share of battles with him in the Apollo? Yeah, um, obviously the running back's a great player. Um, I, I, I apologize, I don't know his name, um, but stopping the run game was was the key to winning this game, and I feel like as a team we did that. We did pretty well at that, and um, I mean our offense would come eventually. They they played some good defense, but um, it's really just stopping their deep the, the run game was the key to winning that game. Um, when you had that touchdown there, kind of there in the second or first half, what went into that play? Because I mean, you totally took 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 apart the defense on the Hearts. Yeah. Um, well, I was just waiting for the ball to finally get thrown up in the air where only I could get it. Um, no offense to the kid guarding me, but I'm I'm a lot taller than him. Yeah, I have, I have a lot more length than him. So I was just waiting for the opportunity to finally just catch a high ball, and it came to me. And it was a it was a great place ball by Keller Stock. So I knew I was gonna catch it, and I was just gonna I mean just whatever happens. What's been the difference for you for your junior year knowing that in one year from a Cody Adams to Keller Stocks what's been the difference of the quarterback and how do you feel like it's fit well with you? Um, well it, I mean we, we've gotten used to it for sure we we, uh, we made sure to work a lot in the summer um, Keller's a great all-around quarterback like there's very little flaws in his game and I just love playing with him he's a great kid too so um, I mean there's not a lot of difference honestly um, just working with him and he's I mean like I said he's he's great to play with he's a great kid and I just have a lot of fun with him. There was a lot of people here tonight from Illinois, a lot of inquire. I mean, obviously with the recruiting coming along, but how do you feel like you played overall in front of a good crowd? Um, I felt like this is one of my better games this year. I feel like um, I've struggled a little bit earlier in the season on uh, just everything all around, and I feel like I'm starting to get my pieces together and uh, stop letting the pressure get to me a lot more, um, blocking out all the noise, and it's, it's showing. Um, I honestly think this is one of my better games this year, and um, I'm, gonna keep, I'm hoping to keep it going. You're now five wins. You're now playoff eligible. How critical would that six win be? No matter what happens, you got to go up against a tough Breeze team on the road. Yes, sir. Um, I would say um, if we could get a home game in the playoffs, that would be that would be crucial. Um, we've been on the road a lot this year, so getting a home game for if we win this game, hopefully it'd be better odds to get a home game. So. 
Um, and they're a great team, like I said, and they always got a good atmosphere down there. So it'll be it'll be a great game either way. You know, just knowing it's winner go home. I mean, you don't want to ever uh, lose games and uh, be like only five and four having no games left. So, you know, win and go home is what really push us over the edge. You know, preparing for Effingham, they're, they're a pretty good team this year. They're going to run the ball, have a really good running back who's probably going to make all state this year. So just really preparing for him and uh, learning how to stop the run and uh, guard the guard the pass play, actually things like that really push us over the edge. Oh, stopping the run and moving the ball on offense. They could not, they could not deal with our uh, – with us stopping the run, they uh, had no answer for us on offense. You know, Michael Love is pretty good, but, you know, uh, he's only one player. He can't play for the whole team. So uh, us stopping the run and uh, moving the ball on offense was our biggest strong suit. What's it been like playing with Keller Stocks? Oh, it's been great. You know, uh, we lost a good quarterback in McCoby Adams, but, you know, Keller Stocks is just as good, and uh, he can really extend plays, and that's what I really like about him. You know, Kobe can extend plays too, but Keller Stocks is really good at uh, standing plays and, uh, you know, not going down and uh, – really throwing the ball once he gets out of the pocket. So having a quarterback that really wants to extend the plays and get the ball down the field is really nice to have. No, I don't feel pressure in this game. Uh, you know, it's a, it's another game. I mean, it's a big game in my eyes, but, you know, uh, that's really but that's really what I've, uh, you know, I put in the work, so I don't feel the pressure. You know, pressure, pressure is a privilege to have, so I really don't uh, get scared from the pressure or anything and know who's watching me. I just go out there and play my game because when I start thinking about it, that's when you mess up. So really just going out there and playing my game is uh, really what I do.